Hello there together learners. Well, in this day and age, you don't really need to know how to code to make websites. Like you don't really need to know how to, you know, refurbish your engine to drive a car, but it's nice to know what's under the hood. So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the very basics of what's going on with your browser and coding behind showing you all the famous and wonderful websites that you use almost daily on the World Wide Web and the internet when you surf. So in this video, hello world and HTML and the very basics of understanding coding for the World Wide Web. All right, so this video is mainly for those that are interested in web design, are getting started in making websites. There's some courses you can take at togetherlearning.com that show you how to get started in the very basics of web design. We talk about things like color and uh, digital resolutions and how the internet works and all that fun stuff to get you going into your journey into putting yourself out there on the World Wide Web and the internet and knowing the basics of coding is I think fundamental skill and a part of that so you can wrap your head around what's going on in your browser when you actually look at websites. And we're gonna be actually making our own little mini website called Hello World in this video right now. Right, so first let's talk about the World Wide Web and how it relates to the internet. Um, the internet started as this thing called ARPANET and some other scientists at CERN in the late 80s were taking the internet and they were trying to do research and share and collaborate research between different places around the world. And so they invented this way to add links, hypertext, they called it at the time, where you can have server information on some server over here and over here and in the form of text. And then you can link them back and forth so you can have collectively a big database between the networked machines. And that was the kind of um, the reason why it all got started. It was under trying to conduct and share research with each other. And this is actually an archived version of the very first website ever created. And you can go down in the description and click on a link and explore that very first website as you saw it right in 1989, if you'd like to try it out. All right, so we had this hypertext markup language, and it's basically what your browser does. It looks at this code, reads it, and then takes that code and translates it into what you see on the screen. It could be text, movies, video, and now we're seeing interactive elements like games and virtual and augmented environments. Um, all that stuff's built on top of HTML. And these elements are the building blocks, the fundamentals of how the internet works as far as browsing and using your browser and the web, right? And it's all built on putting tags, uh, hypertext, they call it. So you're gonna encapsulate tags around text, around parts of your code. And that basically tells the browser to do different things to that part of the text. Um, a very simple example of that is to take text and make it bold or bigger or smaller or a different color, right? And these are the tags that we're gonna be using in this very hello world example that we're gonna code for you in just a moment. Um, you notice that it starts with putting it in uh, brackets greater than and less than and then ending them with a slash. So everything in between the, the beginning and ending of what you'd like to do Everything in between these front end and back end, the slash, does something to everything that's in between it, that's some text or some uh, link or something like that, right? And HTML, head, title, body, H1, are all just the very simple basic tags we're gonna use to make our Hello World page today. So for example, you just write Hello World into a text file and then read it with your browser, right? Your browser looks at it. There's no tags, there's no code, it's just hello world. It's gonna show you hello world. 
But if you add tags to the beginning and ending of it, something that looks like this, h1, you start it, and then you add a slash at the end of it to know that this is the end of using the h1, meaning header one. This is kind of like what you would put at the top of a page. This is a header text. It's the biggest possible, right? And therefore, the output is going to be much bigger. So that small hello world is now displayed differently as it's read in the code because it is surrounded by tags. And that is the most fundamental aspect you need to know about um, HTML code. It's just a text file originally, but they wanted to add elements. So you can add these tags on there and say this text. That's why when you see those links with the underbar and you click on them, that's basically that text surrounded with tags. And in that tag, you can add a link to another website. So when you get to click on something, um, uh, some text in, in a document on the web, it takes you to somewhere else on the internet. And so because of this, we're able to collectively make this huge thing uh, called the World Wide Web. And now we're surfing <laughs> we're on, on the couch all over the web, web surfing all the time now. Right. So this is the code we're going to be kind of playing with today using those tags that I just showed you earlier using the HTML head title body in H1. And so what I'd like to do now is just kind of take you through creating your first hello world page and explain what each of these tags are doing as I put them into this kind of code, very simple code editor. So what you're seeing here is on the this side here, uh, my left side is the code. And then what you, after you put that code through a browser, whether it be Safari or Chrome or whatever you're using, it's going to display it like this. So this is the code, it's the black screen, but by default, your browser is just going to show a white screen unless you specify otherwise. Right? So first, we want to tell, usually when you start an HTML document, it starts with this kind of doc, doc type that lets any, anything, perhaps it's not a browser or something else, know what's in this document. So this is HTML, and it should treat it like HTML. It's not necessary, but it's good practice to put that in there. Right? So first, I'm going to start with H, put a caret to start a tag, HTML, and close it. That is letting me know that this is the beginning of my HTML code. When I get to the end of my HTML code, I'm going to write bracket slash HTML, and so everything in between is now HTML code. Now, in here, I could just write something here. I'll write hello world. And I'm going to run this to see what kind of output I get. Hello world, HTML code, just some text. It's just putting out the text as it would anything um, right. So but that's not quite what we want. We want to make sure that we kind of program this correctly. We put the right stuff in here. So I'm going to take two spaces in to show that I'm um, underneath another tag, and I'm going to write head. Head is the section of an HTML page that holds all of the information, the scripts, the title for your website that you're not going to show your user, which is in the body of the code, the body of the, the, uh, the document, right? So everything that's in the head, you're not going to show your users, but it's a good place for you to add things, add information, metadata, etc. And for us, we're just going to use it for the title. So I'm going to add a tag for the title and my hello world web page is the title. And I'm going to close the title, let the browser know that that's the end of the title. You don't need to do anything more. I'm not going to add anything more to my head. So, of course, I have to close the head. If you never close, if you open a tag and you don't close it, weird things are going to happen. So, whenever that's why I'm indenting a little bit for each time to signal that a tag is being opened. And later on, I'm going to have to close it somewhere. All right, next, I've op I got a header. Let's see what that looks like. I don't have any text in here, right? I got some text that says my Hello World web page, and I run it, but there's no output. That's because it's in the header, and everything in the header doesn't get displayed. 
It's actually the title of the web page. If you've ever looked at your browser and the tab on the top, uh, your web page has a title to let you know what it, that web page is on the top. So you can click on that tab or that uh, that part in your browser. And that's this is that that this little bit is going to be displayed right there for you. All right. So now I'm going to start with the body. Now this is where all of the information is going to be displayed. So all the text you put in here is going to be displayed to the user in the um, from the browser. So I'm going to open the body, put my hello word on here. And of course, I opened the body tag. So I have to close the body tag. And now I can click on my run. And of course, it's the same as it was before. But now my page is set up correctly. So I can start adding more things to it. Now I want to make this bigger, like I said before. So Remember the tag that I just mentioned, H1. I'm going to put an H1 tag at the beginning of Hello World and an H1 tag. Oops, I got to close it out with a slash, of course. H1 tag at the end that will close out that. Now, what's going to happen? Can you, can you guess? It's going to make it big. And there is your Hello World first HTML, right? There are so many more tags, so many more things to add. And not only that, um, just starting to mess around with this, you start to understand what your browser is doing to code. And while you might not need, need to know the code these days to make a website, it's really nice to know because you can go in and look at the code of other websites or your own website and possibly see something that's going wrong or something that um, might not be look quite right. Or you can at least see where what sections of the code is displaying what things to the user through, through a browser. It's very useful to go in and try and debug things or change things. If you know just a little bit um, of what's happening under the hood. Now, those are the tags to make your um, first Hello World website, your Hello World code, right? Putting those things in there to make it bigger and to make that correct page, right? This is the code that we used. But if you're going to continue in your journey, you're not just going to learn HTML, you're also going to learn CSS, cascading style sheets, because you're going to need to tell the browser what to do with those tags, like what fonts to use, what uh, indents go where. And we can have these stylized sheets that allows us to create more dynamic, more beautiful websites. We've kind of kept building on the HTML since that first website made by CERN in 1989. CSS was the first step to kind of stylize and format our website web pages a little bit better. And we've also have PHP and JavaScript and more to help us add more dynamic content and like graphics and backend scripting. PHP, like we can log into a website and then we want our web server to communicate with a database for that purpose. So people can have logins and passwords. That's one reason to have something like PHP on your website. JavaScript, now we can do games and have interactive con content and, and um, complex um, interactions and graphics. That's all done with JavaScript. But now we have things like A-Frame, where we make um, virtual and augmented reality websites. And so we're constantly building on new technologies, new tools, new coding languages. But it all starts with HTML and the Hello World, which is the very basic, the beginnings of your HTML journey. All right? All right. I'm Eric. I hope that you might join us on TogetherLearning.com as we all help each other, support each other, learning together in our journey to make websites uh, in our interactive web publishing course and more at TogetherLearning.com. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.